adding a stroke around an image should be a simple thing to do, and Canva has got you covered. Let me show you how to do it. Having the Canva Pro subscription allows me to have some features that I'm going to use, and I'll point them out as we get going. I'm gonna start with the blank YouTube thumbnail because that's what I wanna make, a thumbnail for my YouTube video, which is all about making YouTube thumbnails. I'm gonna pick an image that I've previously used, and the first thing I'm gonna do is take out the background. And because I'm using the Canva Pro subscription, I can click on Edit Image and then click on Background Remover. It's gonna do this quickly and simply for me, and it's gonna do a fantastic job. In fact, if you look at the detail, even the wisps of hair were caught and allowed to stay in the image while the background was taken out. If you wanted to do this for free, check out this video where I walk you through how to use the Canva free subscription and other websites to get these same effects. Now, in order to get the stroke, we're going to want to use another Canva feature called Shadows. It's gonna make a drop shadow that's blurry behind her that we're, we can adjust the size and color of. In fact, clicking on the glow is gonna give us those adjustments. Let's take the blur down to zero and the transparency up to 100. And now we're gonna increase the size of essentially the stroke. And that's it. We can change the color of the stroke. Personally, I'm gonna make this white and I'm gonna make my background a light blue. And that's it. To finish off my thumbnail, I'm gonna include other YouTube thumbnails. So I've taken a screenshot and I'm putting it here and shrinking it down. And I'm gonna use a pixelate feature in Canva to kind of blur out those thumbnails. I can adjust the horizontal and vertical pixels until it shows exactly the amount of the image that I want it to show and the detail of the image. Then I'm gonna click on that picture and press Command D to duplicate it, and I'm gonna do that until I have nine of them to fill the image. Now the point of this is to have this be in the background, so I'm gonna send it to the back, and then I'm gonna grab a rectangle, which is going to become a transparent in-between layer of that background and the woman. So I'm gonna resize this rectangle, I'm gonna change the color to my light blue, I'm gonna change the transparency by clicking here, and this looks about good, and now I'm gonna move it backward in position and forward until I get it just right between the woman layer and the thumbnails layer. And then I can still adjust the transparency. Now I'm gonna add some text to my image. So I'm gonna find this. I'm gonna make it right aligned, change the color, and I'm gonna say free and easy YouTube thumbnails. So let me shrink this down, change some of the text color, grab a asset that's YouTube, and then I just need thumbnails, so I'm gonna grab some other text and type in thumbnails, and that's it. That is how you make a stroke on an image, but maybe you wanna have multiple strokes on the same image, and that's possible too. Because Canva flattens the stroke that you initially made into your image, it becomes a new image itself. So the next time you click on Shadows Glow, you're adding another stroke on top of that. And you can continue to do that as many times as you want. And that's it. That's how you add a stroke to an image quickly and simply using Canva. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Till next time.